they're here, they're queer, and they will straight up kick your butt. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 badass LGBTQ characters on TV. But the odds are better with me. Without me, you go to prison. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at characters from television who identify as lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, or otherwise queer to find the ones who are the coolest, most memorable, and or just plain badass. We'll be discussing some of these characters' story arcs, so a mild spoiler alert is in effect. Up to me. I'd shoot your sorry ass. Unfortunately, it's not, so I have to protect you because your best friend might be on her way here to kill you. Number 10. Sarah Lance, Arrowverse Sarah is an original creation for the CW's Arrowverse, but she was adapted from DC Comics and most closely resembles the character Black Canary. After being swept away to sea, she was saved by Nisa Al Ghul, with whom she began a relationship and trained with the League of Assassins. I've had better greetings. Sorry, I, I just I, I didn't know what you were going to do. She proved to be so popular on Arrow that she became a major character in the spin off Legends of Tomorrow, where she was able to show off her skills even more. Where did you get this? I have a resourceful friend named Cisco. Incredibly perseverant, not adversity nor grief nor even death itself can keep her down, and she has forged her way into the elite catalog of DC heroes. Number 9. Lana Winters, American Horror Story Few characters in this anthology horror series have endured as much as Lana did in Asylum. Play with me! Play with me! Ow. Pepper! Sister Jude locks her up in Briarcliff, claiming it's due to her homosexuality, but she actually wants to cover up her expose about the Asylum. She later ends up in the hands of serial killer Bloody Face, and it seems she's going to be yet another casualty. We'll put you out. You won't feel a thing. However, she uses her intelligence, cunning, and resourcefulness to not only survive the ordeal, but also bring down the forces that are trying to hurt her. She's everything we love about the trope of a horror movie final girl, but this one just so happens to be a lesbian. Right on. It's not your fault, babe. It's mine. Number 8. Jack Harkness, Doctor Who and Torchwood Captain Jack Harkness was introduced in the first season of the revival of Doctor Who, and proved to be so popular he was awarded a spin-off series of his own. I don't know what's happening here, but believe me, I had nothing to do with it. He's a proudly omnisexual time agent from the 51st century, who leads the group Torchwood, which investigates extraterrestrial activity on Earth. Must be aftershave. Never wear any. You smell like that after me. 51st century pheromones. <sighs> People have no idea. Though he's a generally friendly guy, he doesn't hesitate to take out anything or anyone that he views as a threat, exercising a moral ambiguity that the other characters don't always agree with. As charming as he is deadly, he expanded the already vast Doctor Who universe into something much more. Hey there. Hello. Captain Jack Harkness. Linda Moss. Nice to meet you, Linda Moss. Do you mind flirting outside? I was just saying hello. For you, that's flirting. Number 7. Korra, The Legend of Korra Korra had big shoes to fill as the hero of a sequel series to Avatar The Last Airbender. Fortunately for us, she turned out to be an arguably even more well-rounded character than her predecessor. I don't like the looks of this. Let's hurry up and get out of here. Primarily a waterbender, she is the Avatar, which allows her to also bend earth, fire, and air with the right training. She is confident, if a little headstrong at times, never backing away from a fight and exhibiting extreme loyalty to those close to her. Mako, we are going to save your brother. I promise you that. It's revealed in the beautiful final moments of the series that she enters a relationship with Asami recontextualizing her character as bisexual, which adds yet another layer to the many that she already displayed. Number 6. Cosima, Orphan Black Cosima is one of the many clones created by Neo Lucian. A PhD student in microbiology, she is essential in unraveling the central mystery behind the shady corporation, understanding the science behind the clones better than any of the others. So, 
You're gay. My sexuality is not the most interesting thing about me. Her astounding intelligence is her defining quality, but she's also able to keep up with her other clones in dangerous and physically violent situations. <gasps> nice one! She's unabashedly herself, a self-described lesbian geek monkey. Kasima may not be badass in the same sense as other characters on this list, but she manages to prove her worth time and time again. Number 5. Alex Danvers – Supergirl Alex is the adoptive sister of Kara, aka Supergirl. As a government agent, she's had extensive training from the Department of Extra Normal Operations, which she uses to train her super sister. Now, come at me. She serves as Kara's right-hand woman, but don't call her a sidekick. She operates on her own terms. When she meets a fellow badass Maggie Sawyer, a detective, she begins to come to terms with her sexuality. A well-rounded character who is just as complex as she is tough. She may not have powers, but in a world full of superheroes, she manages to hold her own. I don't know, I, fi I finally, I get me. And now I realize that it, it wasn't about you, but it's, it's about me living my life. Number 4. Annalise Keating – How to Get Away with Murder Annalise is a ruthless trial lawyer who was played to absolute perfection by the impeccable Viola Davis. And you tore a community Keating. apart. Ms. You tore Keating. families apart. Order. You destroyed lives, Ms. Senator. Keating. Admit it. Ms. Admit you killed Trisha Stanley and had my client David Allen set up for her murder. Equal parts lovable and frightening, she will go to any length to protect her students, no matter what dark places she has to journey to. At every turn, she demands the respect she deserves, and even allows us to see her vulnerability in rare moments. She makes no apologies for who she is, a black, bisexual, and perseverant woman who showcases bravery and ingenious quick thinking under immense pressure. Annalise is unlike anyone we've ever seen on television, and we hope she opens the door for more characters like her. Number 3. Omar Little – The Wire Omar is unlike any other gay character that we've seen on television. He makes a living by robbing drug dealers and has no qualms about what he does. Yo. Yo, sir, come on. Yo, Omar coming, man. Yeah, we don't respect this. Oh, shit! Despite this, he shows a strict moral code by refusing to harm anyone who he views as innocent. Tiptoeing the line between hero and villain, he's a complex character who proves being a gay man and being a badass aren't mutually exclusive. Yo, why you always got to talk like that, man? Boy. F this and F that. His nature is contrasted with his love for his boyfriends and the grandmother who raised him. In fact, Barack Obama named him as his favorite character from the series, noting the duality of his sexuality among other qualities. Hey, yo, lesson here, babe. You come at the king, you best not miss. Number 2. Lexa, The Hundred The Hundred doesn't shy away from fluid sexuality on screen. Case in point, the show's hero, Clark Griffin, who engages in a relationship with the possibly even more badass Lexa. She's a pragmatic and insightful leader of the Grounders, managing to be tough and firm with both her allies and her enemies. With an impressive ability to keep her cool, she turns to violence when it's necessary, though peace is her ultimate goal. Your ambassadors betrayed you. How do you move forward? They were doing what they believed was right for their people, too. Her sensitive side comes out when she begins to develop feelings for Clark after an antagonistic relationship. One look at that face paint tells you everything you need to know about her. She is not to be messed with. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. They ain't scared of you, honey child. They scared of what's between your legs. What I get? That's nasty talk. I won't listen to that. <laughs> Let's go. Just one on two. Go ahead and try and hit me if you're able. Can't you see that my relationship is stable? I can see you hate the way we intermingle. But I think you're just mad because you're single. And you're not gonna stop. Why do you have to make everything so hard? No offense. But f you, sir. Number one. Willow Rosenberg. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Willow begins a series as a shy bookworm who often finds herself needing saving. It's a good fight, Buffy, and I want in. I kind of love you. However, as the series progressed, she became more independent, becoming the brains of the Scooby Gang, and later discovering witchcraft and exploring her sexuality. 
She becomes one of the series' most powerful characters, even becoming one of Buffy's toughest villains after her girlfriend's devastating murder. I want to know what a bullet feels like, Warren. A real one. It's not like in the comics. No. No. Nevertheless, she returns to the good side and continues to kick ass, and gives Buffy a run for her money as the show's most badass character. Most importantly, her queerness was used as a way to progress her character development without defining her. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day!